Yo, yo, what's up, guys? This is Shinigami bringing you some Gladiator Arena. I am using the worker class as a secondary mode, which, as of course, you can see, he can practically just throw bombs at your face and uh, you go bye bye. <laughs> um, now, I'm not gonna be talking about the gameplay entirely too much. I will, for like a few minutes, talk about a strategy of what you guys should and shouldn't do. There is a uh, 12 rounds within this arena match, and I believe there is a trophy where you have to use every single class and beat it ev with every single class or something like that. I'm not too entirely sure, but um, the worker by far that I've seen is practically the most easiest one to use to pass it because uh, he does run kind of fast and his bombs can pretty much kill you in either one or two hits. As you can see, in every round it gets a little bit tougher and more enemies come at you. So you have to be on your toes and keep on running and throwing those bombs. <laughs> um, there are three classes that you have to worry about the most compared to any other classes. Uh, the ones that you have to worry about the most are the Shadow Priest, the Fire Mage, and the Archers. Because of course those guys have long distance weapons and they can shoot from wherever they want and they can pretty much take you out kind of easy. Now the Fire Mage is probably the most deadliest one next to the Shadow Priest because the Shadow Priest can just drain your life and that's it. You know, Fire Priest will put you on fire as you can see and the only thing that can save you is that water. Uh, once you reach about the 7th or 8th round you should implement a strategy that you can see me do very often which is stand by the water by this mother water pool because uh, you are gonna encounter a lot of mages and a lot of um, archers within this with the higher up round the warriors you shouldn't be worrying about them too much since like they're kinda slow because of their armor and stuff of course you know and the worker can pretty much run kinda quickly so you can outrun them easily the things that you don't want to do is while you're running to be jumping often because like you will get slowed down and they will easily catch up to you and they will just hack and slash you and you will die very often so you, you're gonna have to watch out for that um, as you can see now their their clothing kind of changed from black into green all that that means is that they can withstand more hits i don't think their damage increases but i think that they can just take more hits than they would usually do when they were black uh, clothing. Now the thing that I wanted to talk about is that I've been getting uh, quite a few messages, uh, comments, channel comments, stuff like that. Uh, they want me to add them on the PSN. And I don't mind of course guys, you know, you can add me if you want. But my list is practically full with uh, clan members and some other people that I've known for quite a few years and um, I don't really want to delete them to add someone who I don't even know so I was thinking just for you guys um, I want to create a new username a new uh, PSN ID and that is going to be strictly for you guys uh, no friends, no clan members, it's all going to be just for the song um, we can create Fat Princes if you want, uh, Call of Duty 4, Modern Warfare 2, Transformers you know any games that you guys probably want to play with me uh, by all means you know I'm all down for it this is the reason why you want to stick to stick to this side or the other pool is because when you're on fire you can pretty much just get into the water and you'll be safe that's the most important reason why you want to be by that water now the ice mage doesn't really do too much at you it does slow you down a bit but it's not something that you know, sh shouldn't uh, be that big of a deal. The fire mage, as you can see, is doing a lot of damage, and that's the reason why you want to stick stick to those uh, water pools. Now, about the whole username thing, um, I want anyone you know who subscribed or a viewer to go um, on the comment section below, of course, uh, put in which username you want me to have. Of course, you can't have any profanity or any race, any racial slurs, stuff like that. You know, just keep it mature or uh, be creative if you like. Uh, doesn't matter, whatever you guys want. 
and the username that has the most votes that will be the username that I'm gonna want to choose or actually you guys are gonna choose and I will make it that same day post up a video stating that I already created that name and you guys can add me anyone can add me a sub a viewer whoever wants to add me on that it's gonna be all for you guys not for me um, and I was thinking, I'm not too sure if you guys will be okay with it, uh, I was thinking of probably renting a Toy Story 3. I'm a huge fan of Toy Story, the games, and the movies. So I was thinking of probably picking that up and maybe doing a walkthrough real, quick, uh, real quickly and see how that goes. I'm not too entirely sure if you guys are okay with that or not. But uh, let me know of course on the comment section below. Uh, if there's some other class that you want me to try and pass this arena with, uh, let me know as well. Since the worker was kind of easy for me, um, you know, I kind of felt cheated, but it, it did took a, a, a bit of time to figure stuff out and get a good trend working out for me. I almost die here. <laughs> uh, when you practically almost kill everyone, you're going to see like about 3 or 4 classes spawning black or purplish. As you can see right there, uh, these guys take a lot of hits. I think they take about four or five bombs in their faces. So you have to watch out for that. Uh, remember, it's always kill the Shadow Priest, Mages, and Archers first. The Warriors and everything else they can win. As you can see, victory. I thank you all for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe if you already haven't. For more content, peace.